The Institute for Advanced Study is the best place I know to do uh, sustained, creative, hard work. I'm a, a writer, a biographer. Uh, the first biography I wrote was of uh, the theoretical physicist Paul Dirac, who spent a lot of time here. Paul Dirac uh, is often described as the first truly modern theoretical physicist. What we mean by that is he uh, not only was a, uh, a, a physicist who uh, was a pioneer of quantum mechanics, the most revolutionary theory of the 20th century in, in, in physics, it's the theory of the very, very small, but he was also an expert on gravity and looked at physics as a unified whole. Dirac loved coming to the Institute because he knew that uh, it was very much a place where top flight academics, in particular physicists and mathematicians, were working in uh, very pleasant, supportive surroundings, and that he could work alone, undisturbed, uh, asked to do nothing except think and talk to his fellow researchers. What is special about it is that you have a fantastic uh, group of doing theoretical physics, uh, cosmology, astrophysics, but also you can benefit from having classic scholars here, from art scholars, uh, from uh, historians and from librarians. Now, this is actually quite important. Now, I'm just completing a biography of Stephen Hawking, who was also a visitor who uh, came uh, quite often. When you're writing a biography, it's not just about your own specialist topic. You need other input. So, for example, in writing about Hawking, I need to know about the origin of some terms that he used in his book. Uh, to whom do I turn? But to classic scholars whom I meet here at lunchtime. When writing about Dirac, I was uh, making analogies uh, with uh, with modern art in the way that theoretical physics developed. And I was speaking here to historians of art. Now, it may sound like that's only uh, a, uh, a, a, a side story, so to speak, but it's actually not. It's really valuable to have the support of, uh, of all different experts uh, and, and the freedom to talk to them and benefit from their, their erudition.